Oh, I have a memory that's full of Bobby. My candy. Right through my fingertips. Every time I eat, it always slips. This candy. Down into the dirt. When I want a sweet, I always get hurt. He never eats it. He's always face first on the ground. It's so upsetting. His life is such a letdown. Lemon, cherry, sour apple too. All of these flavors. Taste. I want a cavity in my face. My candy. Ow. Oh. My candy. I'll just eat it off my ground. My candy. I'd like the hair, but I don't really remember this. Chippy, do you even know how to play a sax? Uh, why are you asking, Kelsey? Because I've never played one before? Oh, maybe that didn't happen. No, I know we have memories of Bobby. Like, remember that time we hung out with us and, and we were trying to build that security system for the stump? That was your sister. Ah! Oh, hey, what about uh, the time when he was stuck underground with us in like a mason jar? That was a cicada! Oh, I know, remember when he challenged you on the four square court? No, that was big time, Bobby. Oh, yeah. We really don't have any memories of Bobby. He's gone, and we never really got to know him. Or spend any time with him. <laughs> I wish we could go back in the past so we could hang out with him and make some real memories. Come on, GP. You're gonna make Mortimer cry. Uh, I give him a piggyback ride at every candy store in the world if I could just hear his sweet voice again. <laughs> My candy. Is that? Yeah! It's a ghost preying on our memories! Unlucky for you, the runes on my sword allow me to cut right through ghost flesh. Whoa, 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 whoa! Kelsey, I think... I think it really is Bobby. Eh, my candy. Bobby, what happened? Well, I was walking, and I tripped. No, I mean we thought you moved. I did, down the street, to a new house. Now I don't have to share a room with the dog. You never left the creek. I guess now's our chance to make memories with him. Yeah! What do you say, Bobby? Wanna hang out? Yeah, maybe play a game? Oh, um, okay. Do you wanna play hide and seek? I love hide and seek. A classic. Okay, I'll be it. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. <laughs> help! Oh, help! There's trouble! Uh, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Craig, what don't you understand about trouble? Maybe stuck in quick <laughs> Again? Ugh. Quick mud? Ah! Maybe! We gotta go! But wait, what about. Da! Bobby, you're a genius. This is the perfect hiding spot. They'll never find you. Ow. Mm. Cherry. Ow. Mm. Lemon. Ow. Eh, sour. Cherry is definitely my favorite. Whoops, my candy. Nope. Gotta stay hidden, Bobby, old boy. As explained in Chapter 3 of Ninja X Ninja, and I can help you control it. But only if you choose wisely on deciding day. Plus, we got a super secret manga collection you could look at, too. They're rated 13 and up. But I'm 12 and below. Just hold on to that manga in your hands until deciding day. You didn't give me any... What? How'd you do that? We're ninjas. Hey, Craig? I never thought I'd say this, but quit reading that book! Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Man, it's been a couple days and your hair hasn't grown at all. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Anyways, what do we got? Cool. I've come on behalf of Miss Eliza, who has heard word of a mysterious new Greek kid. Ha, <laughs> that's me. I mean, you know, probably. Miss Eliza has a proposal for you, if you'll allow me to escort you to our state. I'll do you want. 
Make no mistake, the Tea Timers are the most sophisticated members of the Krieg. You would be wise to join us on deciding day. I don't know. I heard that the Tea Timers have fake snacks and like to cause drama. Oh, that's a thing of the past. Now we have real snacks and like to cause drama. Thank you, George. Oh my. There's only one cupcake and two of you. <laughs> what happened to you? I tasted victory. It was strawberry. But I'm here now and I'm ready to build a... Another day wasted. Listen, my hair will grow back soon. And when it does, I'll be able to give up this Jacob lifestyle and go back to being good old Craggy boy. I promise. Come on, what do you say, guys? Group hug? <laughs> That's it. Bring it in. There we go. Yo, what's that noise? Uh, a bee! Ah, uh, bees? Where? <gasps> there are no bees. Um, you've been purposely keeping your hair like that so you could hang out with your new friends? It's not what it looks like. I mean, they had this free stuff. Oh, so I guess we need free stuff now to get you to hang out with us? Is that true, Craig? Were there really no bees? The only bee here is a bee trayer. I just didn't want everyone roasting me for my hair. I was never actually gonna ditch you. But that's exactly what you did. And we can't get that time back because we never got to build our time machine. Man, this timeline is messed up. Oh, there's no way I can make this up to them. <sighs> Unless... Ah, oh, man. Of course it didn't work. I wasn't there to help build it. Now what am I gonna do? Hey, you think this will fit him? <laughs> Jacob has already accepted his fate as a future shinobi! The silly peasants. Everyone, I'm here to tell you, I've made my decision. First off, I have a confession to make. My name isn't Jacob, it's Craig! <laughs> and there's only one group that I want to be a part of. I choose my friends. Is that our names? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Craig. That was nice. Yeah, even though you're the laughing stock of the creek now. Well, I'm just glad we're together again. Sounds like someone learned a valuable lesson about friendship. I sure did. Now let's go finish that time machine so I never have to learn it in the first place. Oh no, Craig must have crossed over to the next dimension. I guess it's just me in here now. Take a ambush! Yeah! Ah! Why would I laugh when I'm not even ticklish? <laughs> Why are you laughing so much? I'm not even touching you. It's a thought that counts. Now that I've collected all the chaos balls, I'll finally make my one wish come true. No! Not after what you did to our friends. Okay, let me get this straight. This bad guy used to be childhood friends with the good guys and then turned evil because... Something went down between them about 500 chapters ago. I'm pretty sure they came out before I was born. We haven't spent time together like this since you were a teeny weeny beanbag baby. It's been nice. Oh, someone's at the door. Kelsey, JP, what are you guys up to? What are we up to? Aren't you gonna ask us about the zombie? Oh, yeah, so what happened with that? Nothing. Turns out it was just some creepy old mannequin. Yeah, nobody knows how I got in the creek, but I did take this hand off its, uh, hand. Uh, is your house being fumigated or something? Oh, this? <laughs> nah, my mom just stayed in and built a fort with me. A fort? Whoa! My mom says that it's probably the biggest fort in William's family history. Can your mom get any cooler? This fort is the stuff of legends! Yeah, my mom is pretty cool. I didn't know she did things like this as a kid. Oh, I, I would invite y'all in to check it out, but my pink eye's still an issue for a bit. It's not like we could come in anyway. Yeah, we gotta head home for dinner. Okay, see ya. Bye! Bye. Wait, did JP say dinner? Are these my sheets? Interlopers! They're bad? <gasps> huh? 
What is all this? Fort Williams. And you can't enter without the secret password. Who's your favorite kid? Craig. <gasps> How'd you guess? I've been in the van for an hour. Now I gotta poo. Get this stuff yes. out of my way. <laughs> I leave Earth for one afternoon, and this is what you do to small uncle? H How did you get in here? There's a garage door. Oh, no. Dad! Jessica, don't touch anything! Craig? Ah! I'll fortify the rear door. You protect the load-bearing noodle. Craig, wait. One small step for Twain. Dad, watch out! One giant leap for man. Mom, the fort is collapsing. <coughs> we really gotta vacuum. But first, we gotta protect the load-bearing noodle. <coughs> Ooh, maybe it's time to take down Fort Williams. No, we can't. I don't understand. You were so desperate to get back to the creek this morning. Tomorrow your eye will be better. You won't need the fort. But without the fort, how will I spend time with you? How many pool noodles do we own? <sighs> I, I realize that we don't spend as much time together as we used to. You're at work, and I'm at the creek. And when we're not, Bernard, Jessica, and Dad are always around. Today was really fun, and I don't want it to end. Tell you what, now that I know how you feel, we can make some time to hang out together, just the two of us. The next rainy day that comes around, that'll be our day, and we'll do something together. Deal? Deal. Brigadier General Mom requesting permission to initiate self-destruct sequence. Permission granted. <laughs> House didn't really explode. Oh, oh, another good one is Pirates of Dark Water. That one is, uh, Mark's uh, favorite. Look, I'm sure all these super duper black and white cartoons were great, but wouldn't you rather talk about them with someone who remembers what you're talking about? Like Elder Mark? No, you guys are my friends now, so I must teach you every reference I know. Get some sleep tonight, because tomorrow, school's in session. Cartoon school! We, we gotta, gotta get, get the, the elders, elders back, back together. together. Oh my gosh, yes! They totally miss each other. I'm sure if we can get them to speak to each other again, they'll work it out. Yeah, but how do we keep them in the same place talking for several hours consecutively? Hmm. I still can't believe you have a sponsored streaming show in your fort. Wait for me! Don't need to stop. Get up there! Welcome to the dungeon, your elder ships. Mark, Barry, David. Oh, whoops. No, no way! way. Nah, -uh. I'm, I'm not, not playing, playing with, with him. him. He is the worst game master. Well, then you'll be happy to know that I am the game master today. Well, okay, I'll stay. Not me. Two-year-old, pull me up. Are you sure? Our stream has six whole viewers. Six? Okay, I'll stay too, but only to promote my brand. The journey was long and harrowing, but you finally made it into the center of the dungeon. And then, before you, you see a giant ogre thrashing about. Rawr, I'm an ogre. What do you do? Okay. I'm Attack with my enchanted sword, Wrathbringer. 17. The blade bounces off his chest. The ogre is too strong. I think our wits may be an advantage here. Let's try to cast fireball at level four. It doesn't work. The ogre's too strong. Ogre, 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 ogre. I, I topple a stone pillar on him, summon a dire bear, anything. Nothing works. The ogre is too strong. I sacrificed the final secret phoenix egg in my satchel, summoning my deity and selling my humanity in exchange for untold magical power. The ogre is too strong. This is so unfair. I can't do anything. You're making this no fun. Dude, this is how it feels to play with you all the time. Well, how do you think I feel? I spend all my time using my imagination to world build and make really cool things and, and you don't even care. Is that what you think? Mark, we love your world building. Your sense of lore, the way you call back NPCs from time to time from our previous adventures. That's why we have so much fun playing. When you let us, 
I uh, hate to interrupt, but um, I believe there's a giant ogre standing before you. Sup? <clears throat> Barry, what do you want to do? I want to befriend the ogre. Thistleclaw approaches the ogre and asks him. Oh, great ogre, why doth thou thrash about so? It's me foot. I got a splinter stuck in me toe. He's got a splinter stuck in his toe. Guys, we gotta pull the splinter out of his toe. Let's do this together. Critical hit. You pull with all your might and the splinter slides loose. You've saved the ogre and are free from the dungeon. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> yes! We actually helped. Finally. The elders are going back to their cave, and all's right in the creek. You saved the day, Kels. Thanks. Say it like the ogre. You saved the day, Kels. Look, Fairy, I know I made you mad, and I just, I guess what I'm trying to say is, do you remember that show, Symbionic Titan? Dude, I could never forget Symbionic Titan. Oh, we're friends again! Ah!